Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Mike McKinley and uh, Cummings are gonna be buying today. Sergeant Phelps and myself will be in the arrest uh, car number one. Chip Moore is gonna be in the red blocker along with Bennett. Car number five is going to be the green Honda, Robinson, Huey, and Dickinson. Everybody should have a scanner. We'll run around here, see what we get, and then just do citywide. Any questions? Everybody know their assignments? Let's do it. Everybody with blood. This is a known problem area right here, this filling station. Constantly problems. Uh, we were here last night and arrested somebody for sale, so we're going to try it again. There's a couple people out there now. And they're right there. Evidently they're going to do it right here instead of the park, instead of the... They were going to go to the trailer park. Now it looks like they're going to do the deal right here in the parking lot of the gas station. All right, it's going down. It's right there. Please, let me see your hands. Get, get your hands up. Get hands up. Get hands up. Get up. Step out of the car. Get, get on the ground, man. Get on the ground. 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 I'm trying. 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 I'm the guy that did the selling was sitting right here in the passenger seat. We pulled him out. The buy money we used right there. And then a couple more dime bags of marijuana. Along with a little Hennessy. Ain't nothing but a Saturday on the west side. I live down there on 110th and Brothers, Mobile Home Park. Park. Yeah. I'm over here. My kids are right there walking. Is this your car? Is this your car? Yes, yeah. yeah, my car. Where's your kids? Right. Right there, that's my daughter, right there. They're how coming old is from, she? They're coming from Villa Del Rio Pool. She's 12. The car is going to be seized. We'll give you all the paperwork if you want to go to court, contest it. Oh, even, though, even though that you saw in plain view a drug transaction going on. You, you're not blind. Can you see well? I, I mean, was in the store. You weren't in the store when we came up. You were in the car. Yeah, but he was in the front seat. I didn't see yeah. anything. Well, I mean, it's in plain view. A bunch of weed, money, exchanging hands. Okay, okay so I'm not going to put you in jail, but the car, I, I have probable cause to seize it, okay? We're going we're gonna to get you, we're going to tow it. I'll give you all the information. Can I get my purse and my cigarettes? Sure, we sure can. We can take care of that. Yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and leave from here, and we're going to go to another location right up the street and uh, do it again. All right, where we're going to go now is the apartment complex over here off of uh, Confederate Point Road. People called into the station saying about a black male selling out of an apartment comp out of the apartment there. So his name's supposed to be Champ. So we're gonna give it a try. We'll come out one, two times, three times a month, depending on what the uh, problem is. And uh, 
his, his guys or his officers and my detectives will ride together and we'll uh, do search warrants, we'll do by bus, reverses, whatever the uh, situation dictates to try to uh, combat the, the drug problem. Out, uh, he's got, he, he's, he, he did a, uh, a Somebody. nonverbal signal. Took his, took, his, took his hat off. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Okay, there he is, right there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Somebody cover the back. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Yes, sir. You're under arrest. Mike. You said a white tank top? White, white, uh, okay. You got, get for black shorts, white socks. Blue, black shorts. Black shorts. Okay. Get him up. Let's take him outside. Let him out. Put your hands off. What's that? Don't come over here. I did not need this guy. You're right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You had the right to talk to an attorney before you ask any questions and to have an attorney present during questioning. Do you understand your? Right 10 4, we got him. We got the guy. You're under arrest. Uh, well, Tony, did, did he get out of the plastic bag? What are you doing with the sheriff's money? The sheriff's money. Yeah, this is the sheriff, sheriff's office money. How'd you get that? How'd you get this? Dude bought it in. What dude? Some black dude. Okay, what did you what did he give you this for? He gave me that for me. So you didn't sell him anything? No. Nah. Touch no. So he just gave you twenty dollars. Laid it on the table. He just laid it on oh inside the apartment. Inside. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, hey, uh, when he went inside the house, um, he went to the back, like a little hallway. There's a um, um, entryway to the left, right to the left. He went back there and got it from back there somewhere. Ten four. We got the money. He said you just gave him the money. Just laid it on the table, and he didn't know anything about it. Is that your story uh, and you're sticking to it? Exchange. Is that your story, partner? I ain't got nothing to say. Okay, well, you're under arrest for uh, sale of uh, narcotics. Crack. Champ, how? Hey, how you doing, Champ? Ty, take him. Is this Champ? Yeah, you call that Champ? Champ. Yeah, dealing he's drugs. Got a 99 on him, we know for sure. Yeah, Champ dealing drugs at the apartment. Get out of bed. Come on We're here. We're trying to clean this place up. Huh? Brad, come here. Look underneath here real quick. Where are you at? Right here. Oh, 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 right here. Plate full of cocaine. We're going to preserve that for prints. Got it? Yeah. All right. Good, good call, sir. Got a complaint here from the, uh, from the manager of the complex about drug dealing. Came up here, made a buy, and uh, Turned out that he's actually manufacturing crack cocaine inside his apartment. So we got a good bit amount, and uh, he also had a warrant on him for domestic violence. So it, it worked out good. All right, we're on the way to assist another officer right now. He's on a call in reference to several raccoons in a woman's chimney hissing at her children. And apparently she's called wildlife control and everybody else she can think of to have them come help her out and not get any success. So we're gonna go see if maybe we can assist her somehow. Not real sure what we can do, but we'll we'll figure it out as we get there. It's only the second time I've ever been down this road in my life. This thing pissed at him. These raccoons Who's that? Are, Which house is it? This one? Bad. Yeah. Yes. They're not very happy raccoons, and they're trying to chew I'm through the insane, flute. I swear to God. And her dog, a Doberman, yay high, is trying to get at him. And she's got, but she's home alone with her But we opened the flute just a little bit, and the thing was like, didn't he, didn't he? You, you tap on the flute, and these raccoons go nuts. And, and the you can hear the babies. You can hear them. The That's raccoon insane. trapper won't come out and get them. So how long have you had these friends? You know, I called wildlife control, and he goes, well, how long have they been here? I said, well, it's been a couple of weeks, but they've never hissed at me. I'm not about to confront raccoons. Can they get in your house? They're digging at the flute now. They're like right there. Let's go in and take aren't another they? look. Aren't they? You are no, my I was witness. There. They are like right Raccoon's there. not in the phone book. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's nothing in writing about raccoons. Yeah. Your dog's not gonna eat me, is it? Yeah. Your dog is very friendly. Can you hear him? I don't hear anything yet. Oh man, they do growl. I told you. Look, see, they're back up here. They're on that side. Oh. Here, little coons. Oh, good oh. gravy. <laughs> <laughs> they had their paws sticking out before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see him. He's right there. There should be two of them up there. Do you have a ladder to get on the roof? He's going up. He's going up. Okay. Got one running. He'll be right, right back down, I guarantee. They've been there all night. He went halfway he up. Two hours ago, Ken. Is there a ladder we can get on the roof? Go up there if we can get him to leave. He oh. is growling. I'd like him to go away if he would. Me too. Maybe you could scoop him back up. In the closet so they don't... In case they decide to come back. <laughs> He's not stuck. He can definitely the get up and down. Where's the ladder? In? Where's the ladder? It's in the garage, and my we'll try it. Crazy. Ken, tell me. All right. I mean, if we can get him, if we can get him out, they'll probably run off, and I doubt they'll come back. <laughs> All right. Do you have the flashlight? See at least two two youngsters in there. They look like they've been there a while. They're quite comfy. Oh yeah, they've they've been there for a little while. Hey buddy, come on out there and bring your friends. Yeah, it definitely looks like they've been uh, living there for quite some time. <laughs> How do you call a raccoon? I don't know. <laughs> the babies are just kind of plugging their ears, wishing that we'd go away. Come on. I don't think they're... I don't think he's going to leave without assistance. I don't think he is either. Yeah. I think there's three babies, actually. I'm trying to count heads. Yeah, there's there's at least three heads I can see of the little ones. They're laying in a little... Nice little warm pile. They're real, real... Relaxed. The little ones, they don't care about anything. Mama's not a Mom, happy kid. Mom, <laughs> Mama's taking care of business. Mama almost chased me off the roof. Watch out for the skylight. Uh. Mama's antisocial. I don't know. Uh, you got it. You can't leave them in there. That's not safe, especially with kids in here. Four-year-old child's sleeping. She's home alone because of the rabies. I mean, they can get in. They can I get know. in the house. We're raccoon rescue. Raccoon, raccoon rescue. Raccoon rescue All right. volunteers. Basically, we got mom to uh, flee the coop, and the well, little babies are. Well, that's the best thing that we can do. You know, whispering inlet. Uh huh. Whispering inlet. He lived directly across the street from me for several years, and now I live at the end of town, and so he still lives over there. Let's see if we can get this. Uh... He's gonna try and break that off too, man. And there's a pin rusted in, is what's holding it on. They're on the right side. Watch. I'll, I'll drop that Try not to hit that flume because it's still, it's just kind of hanging there. Your beer. Don't worry about your beer right now. You know what? You got it? Got it. It's alive. Oh, it's pretty little. Gage is awake, it's Janie. It's smaller than I thought it was from up top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You want to move that one? Light in here? Yeah, I'm trying to get back in. Well, I'm thinking, should we put the other one in here too? Oh, I think this is. Yeah, you got the line. Actually, they look a lot bigger. Here, just set this in here. Yeah, they did. No. Thank goodness they're not much mm -hmm. older because they can get vicious even well, yeah, in this situation. Yeah, kind of. No, they, no we got them. No, got we got them. We got two already. already. There he is. Brooks, our hero. You're going to need a new cotter pin to put that thing back together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's something I'm not worried about. Here we go. Well, poor oh, there he is. Oh, aren't they precious? How old are they? 
They're, these were only I'd about say six to eight yeah, weeks. I'd say six maybe to eight. a little bit older. Right. That's right. Happy ending. Four, year, four years of the business, and that's the first raccoon in a chimney I've had to deal with. I can't wait to see what's next. I was riding down here on patrol, and we had a, a fire. After the fire was put out, the firemen were clearing the house, and it was just filled with smoke but still. They found a small box in one of the back bedrooms and uh, had these two puppies in it that they were just sure were dead. They were lifeless. And uh, they brought them out just because the firemen down here are really good guys. They, they put the oxygen mask on them and tried to revive them, and it worked. My uh, sergeant and I loaded them up in the car and took them home, and my girlfriend na <laughs> named him Asher uh, from the fire, and he just he, he's part of the family now. HK Alpha 261, 1050, 8th and Laura. We just saw a guy pull up and pick up a prostitute, so we're going to pull him over. 8th and Silver, Hey, how you doing? Put your hands up on the wheel for me, okay? What are you doing up here at such a late hour? I just come from Coca-Cola. From where? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, where's that? Over off of McDuff. And you're going home? Yeah, I was on my way home. Okay, why are you driving around these back streets down here? It's nowhere near Coca-Cola or your home. No, I wasn't driving around the back streets. I gave, gave a guy a ride. You gave a guy a ride? Yeah. Where'd you drop him off at? Back on 4th and something. Did you come straight here from 4th and something? Yes. You did? Okay, you weren't north of here or nothing like that? You came from 4th up to here? Well, I came up here to go up to the store. Okay, the store. so you came straight from the store down to here and you haven't been that way yet? No. Okay, do me a favor and step out here with me real quick. Sure. Take your seatbelt off, you're not gonna be able to do it? No, oh, okay. Step, just take your wallet and put it right there. You don't have any weapons on you, do you? No. You in the Navy? No, I used to be in the Navy. Okay. Take a walk right back here, right back to this car with me real fast. I appreciate you showing up, Sam. I was just about to call you. What's your first name? Terry. Terry? Yeah. You ever been arrested before? No, I haven't. OK. You're telling me the truth, right, about everything that's going on here. You dropped a buddy yeah. off? Have a seat there. You dropped a buddy off at 4th and where? 4th. I don't know exactly where, across the railroad tracks. OK, and then you came straight here? Yes. OK, who's that lady in your car? I. I know her from past this morning to go to Ireland. You do? How long have you known her? Gosh, I, I haven't seen her in a while, but I've known her. Known her for a while? What's her name? I don't even know her name. Why don't you just be honest with me and tell me what you're up here doing, and we can we can go from there. But right okay. now, you're just you're you're tripping over everything you say. No, you're I'm saying not. you were down at 4th and wherever, the railroad tracks dropping somebody off, when we were sitting up here watching you pick this girl up. Yeah, because she, she asked me to give her a ride to Ireland. Huh? She asked me to give her a ride to Arlington. Is that what she's going to tell me? Why do I doubt that's what she's going to say? That's, that's Does she know your name? You guys have been friends for so long? What do you bet she doesn't know your name? She doesn't know. OK, so you, you're still going to stick to that story, and that's what's going on, right? Yes. OK, all right. He just picked me up, OK? Right. He's been, he rode around like three or four times. Picked you up for what? He picked me up. I need a ride to Arlington. I asked him if he. I need a ride, Arlen. Okay. And I don't think he was going to give it to me anyhow because I didn't want to date. Okay. So he's but, looking for a prostitute. And I mean, I am a prostitute. I know. But, I mean, but what I'm saying is because. Up, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. When he picked me up, I'm not really wanting to date right now. The only reason people come down here this time of night is to buy drugs or pick up women. Well, I don't do either. Well, you have no legitimate reason for being down here. Yeah. Well, I gave someone a ride, but I understand what you're saying. You have no legitimate reason to be down here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. All right. Man, I'm watching my friends dying. You know, girls that are on the same corner with me. And I don't have it, you know. I don't have it. I got a good family. Do you hear what you're telling me? I know. Do you hear what you're saying? Have you ever tried anything else? You mean have I worked? Yeah, I mean, tried yeah. to get away from this? Is it just the money? No, it's drugs. Damn really? the money. You ever try to get any help there? I've been to six rehabs. Really? Nothing's even come close? Nothing's ever given I mean, you even I a stretch? Home. 
I went home, my stepdad died. I mean, if it wasn't my stepdad down, it probably would have been some others. You know what I'm saying? Well, I feel for you. I really do. I mean, you're a smart girl. You're, you know, you've never done anything bad to us. You've never treated us bad. And you just, you seem to be in a cycle where you're, you're stuck. I mean, there's things out there for you. There's programs, and you said you tried them. Hey, Sarge, hold on just a second. What's going on is uh, she was over at, at uh, what street were you on? 11th? This end? Yeah. Ninth, something Ninth. like Ninth, that was it. And uh, flagging down cars, and he stopped and picked her up. He lives all the way in Orange Park. And uh, she's telling us what's going on, but she said there was no deal made. She said she did ask for a ride to go to Arlington, and that's what he said. But she said that he was looking for a date, but they just hadn't actually made a deal yet. He had license on him and everything? He had his license. He was completely cooperative, but he has no business in this area. He can't explain why he's here. His stories are all... He didn't attempt to conceal himself. No. Yeah. No. Okay, well, I'll scratch him the ticket. I would write a contact card and write it to advice, too. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm sure he's... He's, he's down here picking up. And he's so, you know quick to spit out a lie. I'm sure he's done it before. So I'll do that and, and scratch him out a ticket. And... Unfortunately, there's no law against lying. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we don't have anything. Looks like we don't have anything on him. He's clean all the way around. Sarge couldn't think anything either. I mean, he's lying so blatantly. It's, it's oh, irritating. Go. But uh, we're going to scratch him a ticket and cut him loose. This is lucky day.